Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, look, I've had a lot of emails and questions about bending this. So I figured, hey, let's just do it. Now let me take my this piece off so you can see. Now, when we were doing it with the noodles, we um We were just pin nailed. But I went to Lowe's and I got some plywood. And I've already planed this off, so it's kind of hard to show you. But if you look real close, it's got three plies. And unlike the other we had, um, this is sitting near is noodle prone. Meaning it, it flexes good, but it is stiffer. But that said, it's making this radius just fine but being a little stiffer where I'm going past the calls, it's making a nice radius. Now you can see the other thing we've done inside is where we notch the call, and that's just so we can put a clamp over. Got that? Okay. And I've already had the clamps all the way around to make sure everything's pulling up tight. But now comes the trick. And that's putting the second layer on. Um, so here's my plan. And I'm gonna have to work really fast. Now you see right here I got a little block. This little block is simply where the seam is just to be able to pull it up tight to the collar then walk it on around. On this particular seam, not that it, I got a little short, but it's not going to matter. Because laminating it is just going to be, we're going to bridge across it. Okay, that looks good. Now, you'll notice back here, now this is the eight foot run. But back here, I've taken most of the clamps off. But I've already got it kind of stretched around the calls. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm put glue on my next layer and start over there because I, again I want to bridge these seams. Walk it around, start pulling clamps and just keep coming around. Going to have to work fast. But that's my idea. So let me get ready and let me get some glue on this thing and we'll see how it goes. Be right back. Okay, tight bond three. Now we want to layer glue about like a coat of latex paint. Now I'll give you a hint. Give it just a second. Because a lot of times this plywood will soak it up. Now, would I have been better off to put glue on both sides? Yes. But it's very difficult to do when you're doing it this way. 
So a good heavy wet coat is what you want. Now the other thing you're going to notice, remember me telling you about the tape? And also the last time I told you that I was going to use the first layer as a sacrificial. I don't have to do that. I can go right to it. Okay. That should do it. Okay, now. Now, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Not at all. And make sure you keep an eye down the side that it's tight on the bottom. Looking good. Now I want to make sure this is in good contact.
Well, that's doing pretty nice. Now I'm just going to put a few down lower just to make sure I got some pressure down there. That'll do. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish putting some clamps on. We'll be right back. Now, this bag is a question. Could we use a band clamp? Yeah, we could. As a matter of fact, the next layer, when I film it, I'm going to use one. Let me go see how it does. I don't need all these clamps, but I'm just being sure. Better safe than sorry. Well, it does look good. This is the nice thing about Tight Bond 3. It packs fast. And the only reason, again, I'm using these. just to make sure it's nice and secure at the bottom. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry before I go to the next layer. And so as soon as that happens, we'll come back and do another. We'll be back. Okay, guys, I'll let this dry because I want to see how sound of our laminate we're getting. The thing that bothered me the most was I wasn't getting a lot of pressure on this bottom. So therefore, that's my, where I think a band clamp's going to help. So we'll go check it. One of those better safe than sorry things. Devin, can you help me? Well, it's round. What I got? Actually, it's pretty good. I got two little spots. This is kind of what I was worried about. See right here? So I think we're going to have to put a band clamp. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Now, what I can do here is squirt some glue in there and clamp it. But Yeah, but I think we can do it better. Let's try. But even with two laminates, it's firm enough. Yeah. Now, like I told you, this is purely experiment. This is one of those things where you get a, a thought and then you try it, then you improve on it. Yeah. 
The other thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to reduce the uh, the length. I'm going to divide it up. And the reason for that is just so that the glue doesn't, I'm not dealing with as big a piece. And that way the glue don't have a chance to pack up too fast because it's warm. This is just some areas that the, now something I want to mention before we get too far. When you're planting this plywood or anything thin, um, if you put it through the planter just like you would a board, it's going to blow all the pieces on the ends. What you have to do is, when you start the planter, is put it up and hold it down. And then as it goes through and when it comes out, when it's coming out, you do the exact same thing. You keep the pressure, get it up so that the pressure's pushing down on the end. Otherwise, when it exits the end feed roller, the first one, and you got all this flex and it's hanging over the edge of the planter, it tries to kick it up and man, it'll just blow the ends completely out. Always hold up in and out. Okay. Take two. Okay, take two. We're on the right track. Now what I'm going to do is measure around this and cut a piece half the length of what I need. And um, try again. We'll be right back. Okay, plenty of glue. Again, straddling the joint. Now, I added two calls at the joint just so I could get a good glue. Then I start walking around. out. Okay, let me get the second one.
just happened, Devin? Did you hear that? <clears throat> I made a mistake. I cut that the second layer the same length as the inside. I'll glue a little piece of that. So don't do that. Remember, each layer is going to progressively get longer. Okay, Devin. Let's get a band clamp. Now, make sure you put your band clamp, the, the actual clamp part, make sure you put it against the coal. If you don't, what will happen is you're, you're in between it can dent it or push it in. Bring it up here. Scoot this way around. There we go. That's good. Should be all right. It's, it's buckling here a little bit. It's not right on top of that call. I gotta come this way a little bit more. I still need to buckle here on the seam. Come on. There we go. My problem is I'm right on that seam. I'm sorry you can't see it, but I'm going to put a clamp across these seams just to be double sure. Because 
they're trying to create tension. gonna let this dry a little while then we'll see what we got okay guys we got the fourth layer on but we did something even different now again I emphasize this is experimenting so here's what I did we made up some blocks that we could put on here and just simply with a clamp that exerts the pressure top and bottom and it went a lot faster. Now while we have clamps on the full circle right now, the other thing it allowed me to do was to do half a circle. And one of the things I was after was to be able to have it where I could do it by myself. And it worked out really well. So what we're gonna do now, we've got the uh, outer layer, which is the tiger maple, it's ready to go. But again, I'm convinced that the easiest way to do it, and where this comes from is once we had the first two layers on and not having to try to deal with those seams per se, you understand where we're trying to pull the seam and the, the next layer and all that. So when I do the five foot one, I'm going to do what I initially thought about. And that is take a piece of plywood and go around the calls and just screw it down. Put tape around it so that I can just do the half bands and use the blocks done. We got it. <laughs> but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, hey. The band clamps worked okay, but again, you had to have two people, and they're ex on the top particularly. They're just a little cumbersome, and uh, but this sure made a nice circle. Okay, let's get these clamps off, and we're going to do the final one. We'll be right back. Okay, a couple things you need to know, because this is on a radius, your joint right here. Has, and again, I didn't worry about it too much on the inner structure. But your joint, when you cut this, I just stood it vertical on the table, on the chop saw, and cut it. It's cut on a back angle of about one degree. <clears throat> and the reason for that is, is to make your joint fit tight. Can we see that? kind of hard to hold and anyway if you don't cut that back degree you're not going to get a really nice tight joint and of course this being tiger maple we've got that chatoyance to deal with now the rule of thumb is same face forward meaning see there's a chalk mark here Okay, that, this is the resawn side. In other words, these two pieces were like this before I resawed. So to keep the same face forward, I want to put this piece on and then this piece. Because again, this would have been the forward face, and now this is the forward face. Make sense? And of course, I've got some trace coat to make sure everything's matching up and working. Okay, so we're ready to put this together. 
So let me get some glue on here. We'll be right back. Okay, Jim, can you hold it? Just hold it a minute. Don't try to bend it yet. lifting up on me for some reason. Glue squishing around. Now the reason I'm using this is just to make sure it's down tight in between the calls and uh, now even though Jim is here helping me Everybody remembers Jim Pell. He's kind of one of them unforgettable fellas. And, uh, but as you can see, I can do this by myself pretty easy. I think I might have got a little too much glue. <laughs> It's wanting to scoot around a little bit, just up. But once I get it clamped, it's okay. Yeah, I got glue squishing everywhere. <laughs> okay, this is kind of the name of this tune. Now, what we'll do is <clears throat> I'm going to uh, let this dry, and then I'll come back and do the other side. But I'm going to take a piece of plywood. I'll measure, and I'm going to take a piece of plywood and cut it and fit it to the edges to make sure my seams are perfect and my length is perfect. Okay guys, we'll be back. Okay, our first lamination is dry enough. And again, I took a piece of plywood and fitted my seam right there. If they want it tighter than that, they're going to have to come do it themselves. Okay, so now that gives me my perfect length. Now you notice I clamped it all the way around to make sure because it's got to be perfect. So we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the tiger maple and using my gauge and glue it on. Okay, we'll be back. I'm 
Guys, I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing. I'm buttoning this seam up. It's one scoot on me a little bit. I know. I felt it. pretty good to me. But I run out of tra tra travel on this clamp. Just doing this so I can show it on camera. Now that's got to pull in just a little bit more, but as you can see, I got a good tight seam. Again, don't forget that one degree back cut. Okay. Now, I will tell you something else. The, um, the, added stiffness, the added stiffness of the Tiger Maple, it's bending around perfectly. Yeah, mine get him. I got it. Now, if I was doing this by myself, what I would have done after I got my first seam glued, I'd have pulled it or clamped, I'd have pulled it on around. But since Jim was here, we just went for it. Devin, we need to start pulling the clamps off. We didn't take them off. Got too many irons in the power here. Now, in the event you get in trouble at your joint, which I did on the plywood, a sanding block and a little teeny hand plane, I was able to tweak it up, tweak it out. Well, you've got a little gap, but see right here? Oh, yeah. You haven't pulled in. Okay. You gotta walk it around. Okay. Start at one end and come to the other. Okay. I got it. I got it. Now I'm gonna put one on the side of it first to make sure it uh, it pulls up tight. That'll work. <coughs> okay. One minute. I'm still tight. I'm real tight. So what I'm gonna do is flex this just a little bit and get it in there. You understand? Yeah. I wish I could get this on. Okay. 
what I'm doing is I'm real tight here. So all I'm doing is flexing this uh, material out to make it kind of, instead of just trying to come in straight, I'm flexing it a little so I can come in like that. There we go. Yeah, it's nice and tight now. Yeah, we're okay. I'm putting two clamps on this because of my block. I'm right on the seam and I'm not dead on this call. And my block's a little twisted, so I'm just gonna put one on the other side just to make sure it's good and tight and fluff. Okay, gentlemen. I think we have an apron. Looks good to me. Okay. We'll let this dry overnight. And uh, tomorrow, to finish this out, I'll show you how to clean up the top and the bottom. And uh, then I'm going to be doing the, the five foot. I'm not going to film it because I'm going to do, I'll film just a little bit because like I told you, I'm going to do that base, the first layer as a sacrificial. And uh, now it all looks fine. The reason I'm putting more clamps is I got them. Better safe than sorry. Okay. We'll see you later, guys.